Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. This week I am in Memphis for work, so let's go. Come along with me, won't you? If you're a working mom like me and you have people depending on you for your income, it is definitely smart to protect your children and your family with life insurance. And I want to take a quick break to thank Fabric by Gerber Life for sponsoring today's video. Fabric by Gerber Life was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy than less than 10 minutes. Life insurance can definitely have a bad rap for being complicated, but Fabric makes it easy to apply with its seamless digital experience. It's all online and on your time. And if you need extra support, Fabric's team of licensed insurance agents can answer any questions along the way. It takes less than 10 minutes to apply, see your quote, and then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. And you could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric also has a 30 day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. They also have over 1600 five-star reviews on trustpilot.com. So you can definitely feel confident that you're getting a high quality policy that is perfect for your family. Fabric was specifically designed to give parents like you affordable term life insurance, and I definitely would not be without it. We have multiple policies in our family to protect our family's future and our children. So if you want to protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life, you can apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash Jen. That's meetfabric.com slash Jen. I will have the link in the description box below, so be sure to click on that and apply today. That's M-E-E-T fabric.com slash Jen. Once again, I'll have that link in the description box below, so check that out and apply today. All right, welcome back to another video. So I actually got here to Memphis from my home airport town of Moline, Illinois, uh, yesterday at about 11 a.m. I wanted to stay at home for Halloween, because it's always important for me to, you know, prioritize my kids first. And they were really excited about Halloween and so I wanted to spend the day with them. I had to actually teach yesterday, which was Tuesday afternoon. So I had to get here in a timely manner. My Delta flight was delayed. I had to find another flight. Long story short, I ended up getting here about 11 a.m. Made it to the hospital where we were teaching at and taught a class yesterday afternoon, all afternoon. Flashback. There's two of me. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting my clothes away, hanging them up. So I brought too many clothes this time, uh, but <laughs> full transparency, last night was Halloween and I was busy. Um, I had kids over at my house, so I was making food for them and then I also had to take them home and I also had to hand out candy and stuff like that. So I did not pack last night, which I normally pack the night before I go somewhere. I do not recommend packing in the morning because you have no idea what you're doing. But anyway, I just, <laughs> I want to show you guys what I brought with me. So I wore this black cardigan today with this polka dot shirt, which I got from Torrid. I can link all these clothes below if they are still available. This is another one of these. I think they're called the Harper shirt from Torrid. I really like them because they're nice and light. And you can also pair them with a sweater if it's cold. I also brought another one of these shirts cause, cause apparently I have no idea what I'm doing at 4.30 in the morning. Uh, this is another one of those Harper shirts. I don't know, I like this one too. It's like a nice gray and black pattern. Okay, and then I feel like I wear this way too much but it's just one of like my go-to top combinations. This shirt is from Lane Bryant. It's a sweater, but it's short sleeved. So I really find that, especially when, you know, you're traveling for like conferences and you're teaching classes and stuff and 
especially in hospitals like you never know if it's going to be hot or cold so the more layers you can have the better this black and white striped sweater is also from lane bryant i like these two paired together i just think it's a cute combo this also looks really good with like a yellow mustard top underneath it so i needed three outfits one that i'm wearing today which i wore on the plane because i literally had to go straight from the airport to the hospital and teach a class all afternoon um but these are and this i need to probably do you guys ever like sometimes when i use a certain type of detergent it puts like white marks on my clothes it's like super annoying to me but anyway these are the pixie pants um from torrid they are basically like high i would say they're like work leggings um they're very thick they're not like the typical legging material um i have a pair on right now and then i brought an extra pair so i'll wear one of these again tomorrow and then the other one on thursday and then i also because again i have no idea what i'm doing super early in the morning brought another one of these tops so this is the harper top but it's sleeveless so i kind of like this one to bring especially if it's going to be like hot because you can wear uh, a sweater over it and it's not so warm the room that we are in this week is cold so i actually wore a sweater today it's not necessarily typical and then i usually try to bring like one at least one like casual outfit in case i need to like change to go out to dinner for something this striped top this is from old navy it's super old it's probably not even available anymore and then i love this blue um sort of cardigan i got this at a very local to me um boutique store so i don't have a link for it but this goes really well with like black leggings for a uh, casual outfit so i have three bags that i keep packed all the time so toothbrush and toothpaste uh, a makeup bag which basically is a duplicate of all of the makeup that i wear at home except <laughs> in travel form my earring oh gosh that's open uh, my earring sort of carrier again i was packing this in the dark this morning i have no idea what i packed i just trust that i will have some things that match i got this at walmart it's actually really nice i like it a lot and then this is my sort of like toiletry bag i guess you could say this is where i keep like my shampoo dry shampoo face facial soap cotton pads hairspray face wash that kind of stuff i keep that in here and then I brought just a plain red top. Actually, I really like this one paired with the black and white also. So maybe I'll wear that one day. I don't think I brought my red earrings with me. That would look nice with those, but unfortunately I did not plan that out. This is the top that I recently got at Torrid. Um, it's sort of like a, I don't know, what is it? Like a burnt orange and white striped, just v-neck. So obviously that's more of like a casual top, casual top. I used to do clothing hauls on YouTube, like Torrid plus size clothing hauls. I don't know, maybe I'll bring that back at some point. I kind of stopped doing them because they didn't do very well on my channel, but I feel like sometimes even if, like even if a video doesn't get like the number of views that videos usually get like i still feel like it's valuable for some people so i shouldn't really care so much about that by the way this closet situation is very odd it's like this closet that goes all the way back in here this must have been a remodeled room at some point because it's not really that <laughs> that functional end of flashback so I did order some Instacart, so I thought I would show you guys what I got while I'm here. We, d today actually, while I'm filming this intro is Wednesday, and we did go out to eat tonight at the Rendezvous, which is a barbecue place in Memphis. Tomorrow, we actually have a shorter day, and so I'm hoping I can get out of work a little bit early and visit the Civil Rights Museum, which is here in Memphis. I try as much as I can to visit different places when I am traveling for work, but it doesn't always work out depending on my schedule, but I am gonna be here tomorrow afternoon, so hopefully I can make it there. So I just got Instacart, and I thought I would 
show you what I got. So I did get a cheese enchilada. You guys know I buy these at home <laughs> all the time. I think I'm actually gonna eat dinner here in my hotel room tomorrow because um, I have a crap ton of work to get done and if I can just cook dinner here. I'm at, I'm at a residence inn so it's really easy because I have access to a microwave and stove and everything. I'm probably gonna eat this for lunch tomorrow. This is a tuna salad sort of snack box. It's got tuna salad, crackers, grapes, and cheese in it. And then also for tomorrow to go with my enchiladas. I don't know, I probably got too much food, but whatever. I can always put it in a bag and take it with me if I don't eat it all. I got veggies and dip and an apple walnut salad. Actually, I might take this, I might take the apple walnut salad with me for work tomorrow. Uh, maybe along with the tuna box, eat these at work tomorrow. And then tomorrow night I can have the enchiladas, the veggies, and then I also got this tribe feta dip. So I got Kroger. There aren't a lot of places to like, like within walking distance here in terms of grocery store. Like there's a Walgreens, there's like a corner grocery, a liquor store, things like that. But in terms of like a full service grocery, they don't have that downtown here. So yesterday I actually taught um, a class, mostly all afternoon. It was like a three, three and a half hour class, which was <laughs> a lot. So when I got off of work yesterday, we were like, oh, should we go out for dinner? We decided that we were all really tired. And so we should just like stay in, order dinner, whatever. So last night I got a video posted. I'm actually working on editing two videos tonight. I'm working on some other things. I also need to catch up on work emails. Crap load of, of work to do, as always. So I'm gonna get started on that and then I will probably uh, catch up with you guys in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, so good night. Good morning guys, how are you? I overslept. <laughs> and by overslept, I just mean I kept repeatedly pushing the snooze button um, until the last possible minute, so that's fine. Anyway, I'm just getting ready. I took a shower last night, so obviously all I have to do is straighten my hair and put my makeup on and get dressed. So today, I'm not sure what time we're gonna get done, but we should get done maybe early afternoon. Sometimes I don't sleep very well. Um, when I'm traveling, but this this trip has actually been good. Like my room is nice and quiet. <laughs> my coworkers are staying at a different hotel and they um, experienced some loud street noises <laughs> the other night. So they got woken up at like 4 a.m. I was like, oh, that sucks. But I don't know, Th this room is pretty quiet, especially for being like in a downtown area. I've stayed in Memphis, not in Memphis, I've stayed in um, Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, uh, quite a few times and I really have a hard time sleeping there because it's so noisy and I'm just not used to that. Um, we, when we bought our first, our very first house when Adam and I first got married, we actually um, bought a house on a pretty busy like traffic -y street in town and so when I lived there I got used to being able to sleep with like a lot of noise and traffic noise at night but now that we moved out to kind of the the country and there's not a lot of traffic and it's like silent at night <laughs> I'm back to being used to that so yeah I don't know okay let me finish getting ready I'll show you what I'm wearing all right so today's outfit <clears throat> is this green floral top from Torrid which I really like. My dress leggings. I gotta put my shoes on. Black cardigan and then I have these brown leather earrings from Nickel and Suede, I think. I can link everything down below, but I gotta go. Early the next morning. Hello and good morning. <laughs> what an exciting travel vlog we have here. So, <laughs> so let me tell you what happened yesterday. So, went to work um, 
I did end up getting done with work around, I don't know, I think it was around 2, 2.30, something like that. I got back to my hotel around 3, but I had something like really time sensitive that I had to work on. <laughs> so I did not have time to go to the Civil Rights Museum, which is unfortunate. However, um, I may be coming back here at some point uh, for work also. So if I do, um, then hopefully I can go then. I think like one of the, like one question I get asked a lot is like, when you, when you travel for work, do you also get to do fun things? And it's like most of the time, um, no. <laughs> like it, <laughs> it what, what really sucks sometimes is that a lot of the museums um, like if you look at their the hours that they're open my straightener is not getting hot what the heck is going on here anyway for museums a lot of times if you look at the hours they're only open until like 5 um, p.m. and that really doesn't jive with you know standard work hours <laughs> that I work most of the time so that's unfortunate but you know sometimes I guess that if you arrive, you know, the day before you have to work, like let's say you get here, let's say, you, let's say you travel somewhere and you know, you arrive on a Monday and you really don't have to start work till Tuesday. You know, there may be a little bit of an opportunity there, but most of the time I'm so tired from having to get up at 3.30 in the morning um, to catch a flight that I have to go to my hotel room and take a nap <laughs> as soon as I get there. Um, I'm serious, what is wrong with my straightener? Like, it is not heating up. Have you tried restarting your computer? Oh, by the way, it's super early right now. It's actually 3.51 and my flight board's at 5.30 this morning. So I definitely had to get up super early. I um, scheduled an Uber. I scheduled, I scheduled an Uber to get here at 4.15 and at 3.45, whenever I actually had my alarm set to wake up, I got a text that the Uber driver had arrived. <laughs> I wanted to like message back and be like, good for you for being so early, but I just woke up, so I will be there at the aforementioned time of 4.15. <laughs> like, I don't need to get to the airport any earlier than I'm already going to get there. I imagine it's not going to be that busy this early, and I have Tuesday pre-check, so it usually doesn't take me that long to get through security. Other exciting news, I did get upgraded to first class uh, this morning, so... That's always nice. Not that I'll really get to enjoy uh, much of anything because obviously, well, I was gonna say about the, about the food. Um, a lot of times on first class flights, if it's a flight over two hours, you get a meal. Um, I really can't imagine myself wanting to eat a meal at 5.30 in the morning, <laughs> but you know, you get coffee and stuff too, so. I don't really care too much about my makeup today because I'm just gonna be traveling home. I should get home, I think around 10.30 or 11, um, and then I'll just have to go home and work more the rest of the day, so. You know what, if this straightener really didn't crap out on me, I'm not gonna be very excited about that because, um, I mean, I feel like I've only had this for a couple years. If it's not gonna heat up properly, man, we've got a problem. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys this, so <laughs> this this mascara just reminded me of it, but <laughs> oh, I'm still mad about it. Um, when I went to California a few weeks ago for this uh, YouTuber trip deal, I met Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. I met Mindy from 
see Mindy Mom, who I've both of them been, been friends with for a while, so it was really cool to meet them in person. Anyway, I don't know what happened on that trip with my computer, but I literally lost so much footage, so many video clips um, that were on my computer. I think what happened is I was transferring some of the files from my computer to my external hard drive and I didn't have it plugged in. I was at the airport and I didn't realize the battery was so low and it died <laughs> like in the middle of transferring them and like literally the files were just like they were just gone. Like I couldn't find them. I even downloaded a um, recovery program that's supposed to allow you to recover um, files that have been deleted or recycled or whatever and it did not work. I could not find them anywhere. I was so like angry with myself because part of the footage that I lost or part of the clips that I lost was for like an extreme budget meal, um, extreme budget meals video I was working on and those normally take me like weeks um, to finish just because I have to, you know, um, plan the meals out, cook everything, you know, and it takes me a while to do everything just because obviously YouTube isn't my full-time job. So I have to do it in between everything else. And, um, yeah, I was extremely upset with myself <laughs> that I lost all that work. I had also um, vlogged a work trip that I did to Montana, um, lost all that. I know I was talking to you guys in that video also about this awesome mascara that I found and that got lost along with many other clips that I had just been saving over the last several months so I was like I was I was not happy with myself about that but um, you know when that kind of stuff happens like you just can't ruminate on it or it's just gonna bother you too much you know it's almost like in your regular job if you were to type up you know a 20 page policy and you spent hours and hours and hours and days on it and then poof it was just gone that's what it's like. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible. I did pack my stuff last night, so go me. Nothing worse than waking up at three in the morning having to pack a bunch of clothes. So now I just basically have to get my um, toiletries and stuff in here. I think I told you guys about the suitcase before, but um, the one I've really been liking is, the brand is called Base. B E I S. Um, I'll link their site down below. I, as you know, I uh, travel a lot, and so I feel like I have a pretty good gauge on what's a good <laughs> carry on suitcase. And theirs are one of my favorites for sure. So now I just need to get my computer stuff packed up. Um, the Uber driver just. <laughs> Message me again a little bit ago, and he's like, he's like, I'm sorry, gosh dang it, he's like, I'm sorry I arrived so early. Um, they, he's like, they sent me, they sent me really early. I don't know what that means. I don't know what they means, but um, if you didn't know, you can actually pre-book Uber rides. I think up to 30 days, and so that's what I do a lot. Um, when I'm traveling and I have to leave super early for the airport because I just want to make sure that like I have something lined up you can't always obviously get a cab or a shuttle this early in the morning so that's always what I think um, works out best but anyway I was like okay thank you I'll be down in about 10 minutes <laughs> I could probably be about five minutes early but <clears throat> Not gonna be much earlier than that. Hopefully on the plane today I can get some work done. I need to 
actually study for a test um, that I'm taking tomorrow. I'm getting certified for the CPHQ exam or uh, certified professional in healthcare quality. So that's exciting. I want to finish studying for that. This microphone, whenever I have it in my part, whenever I have it in my bag and I travel with it, it always gets um, flagged. Probably as a weapon or something. I don't know. The good thing about flying United, which I'm flying today, is that they actually have decent Wi-Fi on their flights, and it's pretty cheap. Um, I normally fly American, but sometimes American will charge you like $29 for Wi-Fi on the flight. It's like $29, really? Like I'm only paying that if I'm super desperate <laughs> to get work done, you know? All right, so double checked. Got all my stuff, got all my cords, got my computer. Let's go. Apparently I got the Uber with the TV, woo. Got home. Oh, I miss you, buddy. I miss you too. Yeah, come here. They get, they get jealous when I pet one of them. You gotta let me pet Murphy too. Yeah, Milo. You gotta let me pet Murphy too. Yeah. Oh. Now I get to do a bunch of. Laundry. I still have stuff in my trunk that I need to return from last week. Until we start but we can still be strong. So wipe out all your tears. 